don't you just hate traffic congestion? Man, sometimes I'm sitting there going about two miles an hour, sipping my latte, trying to calm down because there's this one guy who keeps slamming on his brakes for no apparent reason. Oh, that might be part of the problem. (laughs) Anyway, I have a project team meeting and looky here, I'm going to be late because of this stupid traffic. And all I can think about is the critical signals on my circuit board design. And I wish I could just leave all this congestion behind, pop up and fly over that tangled, snarled mess. Wait, hey, fly over. Yeah. That's the ticket. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Even though we can't get from point A to point B faster by flying over traffic in our cars, even though that'd be really cool, right? (laughs) Flyover is a real option for our designs. My guest today is Matthew Burns from Samtech, and we're going to talk about flyovers, the fastest way to get your signals up and out of the traffic and on their way to their destination. Before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about Samtech's TwinX flyover solutions. Hi, Matthew. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning, Amelia. It's good to see you again. Okay, so we're going to be talking about flyover today, and sometimes the best route between two points is not through a printed circuit board, right? That's correct. Intuitively, that may not make sense to a lot of people, but we're finding that as the industry moves from current speeds to next generation speeds, 28 gigabit per second, 56 gigabit per second, and we're even, believe it or not, talking to some customers operating at 112 gigabits per second. What are some of the challenges they have to overcome as they design their systems? One of the things that we're seeing is that as data rates through PCB get faster, it's becoming more and more of a challenge to route those through PCBs, especially for short range solutions like telecom line cards. What we see as data rates increase is that trace lengths on standard PCB materials or even some exotic high speed materials, they're limited by the physics of the materials in the PCB. You know, for example, to route 10 gigabit per second over FR408, for practical reasons, you can get about 10 inches. On Megatron 6, you can get up to about 10 inches at 14 gigabit per second. But when you get to 28 gigabit per second, 56 gigabit per second, 112 gigabit per second, you can see the challenges of doing PCB layout, even with exotic PCB materials, is a limit. However, what we do see is that at these faster data rates, you can route these signals through micro twin X cable solutions or for the ultimate performance through fiber optics. Okay, so give me an idea about what we're looking at on insertion losses and performance for going across the PCB versus other options. Samtech is a leader in the high speed space. And one of the capabilities that we have that contributes to that is our signal integrity capabilities. Our signal integrity experts and our system level designers have done a lot of research based on our own internal R&D and our interaction with customers to understand how insertion loss of a signal is affected based on data rate and also trace length in various materials. What this slide shows is is that as data rates get faster and as trace lengths get longer, the performance of the signal degrades. What we've also shown in this slide is is that even as you get higher performance material moving from FR4 to a Megatron 4 to a Megatron 6 to a tachyon type material on the PCB, there's still a lot of insertion loss in the signal that can affect the overall performance of the signal integrity in the system. What we also see is is that to get ideal insertion or close to ideal insertion loss, you have to start using high performance twin X cable or fiber optics to get longer distances at higher data rates. Okay, so I'm assuming that Samtech has some solutions in this space, right? We're not just chatting randomly about cables. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what Samtech has to offer in this space. No, that's a good point that you make, Amelia. Most people think of Samtech as a, a connector manufacturer, and that's where we got our beginning back in 1976. But ever since 2004, we've really put a lot of resources, R&D effort in becoming a world-class high-speed cable manufacturer. Why have we done that? Well, our customers have asked us to. So we've really leveraged a lot of the expertise that we have in signal integrity, cable manufacturing, connector manufacturing, and and applied that to the cable manufacturing process. Ever since 2004, we've established a, a facility in Portland, Oregon. We've built a team there over the last dozen or so years that in aggregate has over 500 years of experience 
in cable design, cable development, and cable manufacturing. Our operation in Portland has reached a size that each year we're manufacturing over 4 million feet of iSpeed twin ax and micro coax uh, cable. 40 million feet is really hard to quantify. It's about 7,500 miles or over 12,000 kilometers of cable that Samtech makes each year. What's really driven our high performance solution is the combination of material technology, process technology, and innovative product. All right, we're talking about vertical integration. What do you mean by that in this context? In short, what we mean is that Samtech is its own vertically integrated cable and cable assembly manufacturer. It's really based on three pillars. First and foremost, uh, as we discussed earlier, we have in-house micro coax and twin ax design, development, and volume manufacturing. That's again based on our material technology, our process technology, and our innovative product. We put a lot of R&D and effort into our cable manufacturing facility that's based up in Portland. Second, across all of our core technologies, Samtech has a very strong in-house advanced R&D and signal integrity team that has decades, if not centuries, of experience routing signal integrity through various medium. That could be connectors, that could be cables, that could be optics. And then lastly, what our core strength is, which we've been doing for over four decades, is our in-house interconnect design development and volume manufacturing. So when you marry our cable manufacturing expertise, our in-house SI expertise, and our connector manufacturing design expertise, It sets Samtech up as a unique vertically integrated product and volume manufacturer for high-speed cables and high-speed cable assemblies. Okay, let's dive down and get specific about some cables. What do you have for me here that will make my high-speed life better? That's a good question, Amelia. Samtech is really focused on diversifying the cable options that we produce. Our highest performance solutions are what we call our high-speed ultra-low skew twin-ax cables. And as you can see from the chart that's shown here, they come in a variety of options. We offer 28 gauge, 30 gauge, 32 gauge, 34 gauge, and 36 gauge. In addition to the variety of gauges, we also offer each option with various impedance values, 85 ohm, 92 ohm, 100 ohm. The reason we have so many options is to answer the needs of our customers. Some customers may need low signal count, extreme high speed performance, so a larger gauge twin X solution may work for them. Another customer may require a high number of signals at a medium level of performance. Instead of being 28G, maybe it's 15 or 16G a smaller gauge twin X cable solution may be best for them. In either case, if we think back to our insertion loss versus medium, our ultra low skew twin X cable is market leading in terms of the performance that it offers for high speed cable assemblies. Okay, that's some pretty impressive specifications. Can we pop the hood and see what makes these cables tick? Or I guess what makes them not tick, actually, if we want our signals clean. Yeah. Hmm. Good question, Amelia. Samtech has put a lot of effort into developing not only the technology that goes into our cables, but also the process by which we use to manufacture these cables. What we've developed is what we call a co-extruded low-loss twin-ax cable. If you look at the illustration on the right, you see some of the key features of our cable assemblies. First off, we start with a silver-plated copper solid center conductor. We follow that up by using a low DK dielectric co-extruded technology for world-class dimensional consistency. We apply an advanced copper alloy twin axe shield, which is bounded by an additional metallized barrier for ultimate reliability. And to protect the cable, we apply a high temperature extruded jacket. What are some of the benefits that this assembly allows us? This low loss cable in a system allows surdies to be located further from the front panel, opening up the mechanical architecture for line card applications, especially in telco applications. The design that we have of this cable assembly is exclusive to Samtech. Some of the performance specifications that it gives us are better skew and insertion loss versus industry standards and similar medium. It also provides improved reach and bandwidth versus industry standard mediums, as we mentioned earlier. One of the advancements that we've made recently is is switching from a stranded center conductor to a solid center conductor. Some of the advantages that the solid center conductor provides is optimal diameter control capability for tighter tolerances and consistency. It eliminates stranding variations, which provide a consistent dielectric uniformity in the conductor for ultra low skew or ULS, as Samtech says, performance. It also helps in cable processing by improving preparation and termination quality during assembly. And solid center conductors also allow for new termination techniques, such as resistance and laser bonding. So this helps us to see that Samtech, again, is putting a lot of effort, not only in the performance of the cables, but also in the processing to give us a complete solution that drives performance for our customers. 
Okay, so what type of electrical system benefits do we get when we pop the hood on these things? That's a great question, Amelia. The electrical performance that our customers require are driven by the mechanical properties that we just discussed. At a system level, our ultra-low skew high-speed twin-x cables provide several performance advantages. One is simplified board layout. By routing the signals over the PCB, PCB designs are, are much simpler to lay out. We also are able to support high data rates over longer ranges. We have solutions available today that operate at data rates between 28 to 56 gigabit per second, NRZ, and beyond. Another performance advantage of our ultra-low skew twin-x cables is that they help to reduce thermal challenges in the system. Our flyover technology gives us three main key cost benefits. One, system designers can use less expensive material than something exotic like a Tachyon or Megtron 6 solution, so that saves a tremendous amount of money at the system level. We also offer PCB designers the opportunity for less layers inside the PCB design. Going from 24 or 26 layers down to 10 or 12 also saves money at the system level. We also eliminate the need for expensive CDRs or clock and data recovery chips. CDRs operating at 28 gigabit per second can cost up to $40 per chip. And if we have multiple CDRs in system, those costs can add up very quickly. So there's, again, a lot of system level and electrical benefits to the flyover technologies that we've mentioned so far. All right, now let's go from cables to cable assemblies. You guys have some edge card connectors for high-speed signals also, right? We do, Amelia. Our high-speed edge card connectors can attach to our twin X cable to give us high-speed edge card connector cable assemblies. We offer these in both 0.5 to 0.8 millimeter pitch high-speed edge card cabling system. These are very cost-effective solutions for running 28 gigabit per second signals from board to board. Our high-speed edge card connectors use our rugged edge rate contacts, which have been optimized for signal integrity, especially at the high speeds that we're talking about. These are offered in vertical and right angle orientations, and they can route both single-ended and differential pair signals. The card slot that our typical card edges fit into is 62 thousandths or 1.6 millimeter. We also offer several options that make mating ultra-low skew twin X cable to card edge connectors more rugged. These include board locks, cable latching features, and weld tabs or solder tabs for mechanical strength. So you can see from the illustrations that our legacy card edge connectors can be married with our high-speed ultra-low skew twin X cables to come up with a unique solution for customers that need to route 28 gigabit per second throughout their system. All right, what if I have two boards or two cards that are stacks and I want to go direct? That's a good question, Amelia. Traditionally, solutions that Samtech offer would be a high-speed board-to-board connector. But one of the challenges of using high-speed board-to-board connectors at extreme high speeds is that the signal integrity through the connector can be compromised, depending upon the system. One solution that Samtech has developed to help overcome those limitations is what we call our Direct Connect technology. You can see from the center illustration that we use a simple high-retention press-fit termination, which shortens the trace length between the signal on the IC and our ultra-low skew high-speed twin-x cable. By terminating the press fit contact directly into a through hole via, the signal trace is shortened between the IC and our cable. Our direct connect solution is ideally targeted for high performance systems from 28 gigabit per second and above. Some of the details of, of our DCH series is it supports an ultra low profile down to three millimeters. We currently have both four pair and eight pair configurations. It's offered on a two millimeter pitch. It comes with 100 ohm differential pair signal routing. And currently we support 30 gauge twin X cable through this cable assembly. Okay, so how can I fly my signal over long distances on PCB? That's really the, the heart of our flyover technologies. One of the key solutions that we have there is what we call our FQSFP or flyover QSFP28 cable system. This system is designed to replace standard QSFP28 solutions that are typical in datacom and telecom applications. Some of the features of this solution is that we do offer support for low speed and power delivered via press fit tails that are found in the solution. Where Samtech drives performance with the solution is by routing the high speed signals via 30 gauge 100 ohm ultra low skew twin X cable. Our FQSFP solution reduces reliance on CDRs and forward error correction at the system level. One of the advantages of FQSFP is that it's backward compatible with all MSA cables linking outside the system. As we mentioned earlier, our flyover concept helps to reduce loss associated with the PCB. This architecture also improves airflow by placing the ICs where the customer can best control cooling in the system, thus reducing thermal concerns at a system level. FQSFP also supports an increased loss budget for lower speed applications. 
One of the other benefits of our FQSFP solution is that it leverages the performance of our DCH series. You can see in the illustration that with FQSFP, we have DCH as the mating connector on the far end. Now, we've talked in another Chalk Talk about your whole backplane system. Why are we talking about backplanes when we talk about cable assemblies? That's a really good question. And intuitively, backplanes and cable assemblies probably don't go together. However, if you look at the center of this illustration, you'll see that one of the areas that we're working on is cabled backplanes. It seems that all of the high-speed SI specialists, whether they're in academia, at the telecom, datacom, OEMs, they're backplane designers, whatever the case may be, everyone agrees that there's a convergence that's happening in the industry for cabled backplanes. Will they be copper? Will they be optical? A lot of questions out there that the industry has to sort out. One of the solutions that you'll see from Samtech later in 2017 is the combination of the high-performance XMAX high-speed backplane connector system with the ultra-low skew high-speed performance of our Twin-X cable assemblies. So we have one illustration that's shown here. We have lots of other options on the drawing board that we're working on with some of our Tier 1 customers. Stay tuned for details for more information on our cabled backplane solutions. So, Matthew, you got any other unique solutions for this uh, flyover business? Yes, we have several copper options, and we don't have time to cover everything, but the leading solution that we have is our Firefly copper solutions. You can see several options that are illustrated here. The core of our copper Firefly solutions are the 100 ohm, 34 or 36 gauge micro twin X solutions that are the, the basis of all of our high speed cable assembly designs. These solutions come both in a by 12 or a by 4 full duplex architecture. Our Firefly solutions with Samtech iSpeed Twin X support data rates of up to 28 gigabits per second and beyond. We offer several easy to use rugged latching systems that are shown in the illustrations to the right. Due to the performance of our Firefly copper cable assemblies, we get an increasing number of requests from our customers to extend the reach of the current cable assemblies that we offer. What we are doing to address that question is to add both passive and active equalization to a number of our Firefly copper cable assemblies. So you'll see some more information about that as we move into 2017 and as the year goes on. Our copper Firefly cable assemblies are also future-proof. What does that mean? Well, they're pin compatible with the Firefly optical engine technology that Samtec also offers. Both the copper cable assemblies and the optical cable assemblies use the same connector footprint. So if a customer currently uses copper cable assemblies at 10 or 15 gigabits per second or even 28 gigabits per second over a short range, but all of a sudden they need to get out to 100 meters, our optical Firefly solutions can answer their needs. All right, let's wrap things up. Matthew, can you give me a quick summary of what we've covered today? We hope your listeners take away four points from our Chalk Talk today. First and foremost, Samtex Twin X Flyover Solutions provide performance advantages over high speed lossy PCBs. Second, the co extruded high speed ultra low skew Twin X cable is only available from Samtech. We've put a ton of resources and a ton of RD in developing not only the technology, but the manufacturing process to develop this unique solution that's only available from Samtech. Third, Samtech has always been known as a connector manufacturer. So when you combine our expertise in connector manufacturing with our ultra-low skew high-speed cable that enables endless high-speed cable assembly options for our customers. Lastly, our vertical integration of high-speed cable and connector R&D, when combined with our internal SI expertise, differentiates Samtech as a high-speed cable assembly manufacturer in the industry. Awesome. Well, I think that's all I have time for. Thank you so much for joining me yet again, Matthew. Amelia, thanks for your time today. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find out even more information about Samtech's Twin-X Flyover Solutions. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, check out the on-demand section of EE Journal or head on over to YouTube, keyword EE Journal.